Hi, and out there, and welcome to my review of Super Smackdown from November 6, 2012. Emanating from Bur Birmingham, England. And this was a live Smackdown, which means it was about... <laughs> it was about 1 o'clock in the morning when the when this transpired in jolly old England. But first they had an in-ring segment with, with Sheamus and Michael Cole. Michael Cole was going to interview Sheamus, but Sheamus more or less kicked him out of the ring. But that's because they showed footage that happened on Monday night from a pub in England where Sheamus met up with William Regal. And Big Show comes up from behind and attacks the both of them. Knocks out Regal with the KO punch and he just basically wait, laid waste to Sheamus. And basically what Seamus says is that he wants to get kick Charles big fat giant arse. Which then brings show up on the Titan Tron because he didn't doesn't want to come down to the ring, I guess. And he basically says he had, that Seamus has nothing to offer him. And then after that after you see show going off the Titan Tron, then you see Wade Barrett, who's talking about their match on on main event on one coming up on Wednesday night, which I will be doing a review on here shortly. Stay tuned to this channel for my review of a main event that happened on on Wednesday night. And basically, what what this ends up setting up is a is a tag team match between Sheamus and Regal against Big Show and Barrett. So. It wasn't a very long opening segment, probably only about 10 minutes, but it pretty much set up a one hour main event, so there you go. Okay, one more time, we got the Bengals against Kofi for the IC title. Not much to say about this, Kofi ends up going over, this time he went with a Ring of the Dragon Steamboat body press off the top rope. Well, which one of the match, but what I thought was interesting afterwards that Miz was still in the ring and he offers him his hand at, in a show of sport, sportsmanship and what does Kofi do? He drops kicks him in the face. It's like, what the hell's up with that? I just wonder what this, what this is all about. Um, could this be the beginning of a slow face turn for Miz? I mean, because you, you've never... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've ever seen a, any kind of a sportsmanship act like that, so... It's... I think it's gonna be interesting to see what what happens with this, but... I, I, I could be also reading too much into this, too, so... Okay, from the Department of Redundancy Department, we got a, another match I've seen a lot here in recent weeks. Rancine Carr against the PT Peers. Um, P.T. Pierce didn't get an entrance, but they still got the victory. O'Neal hit his finisher. I think this team would be better served to be fan favorites because that they, they, I just don't care about them as heels. I mean, ever since A.W. was fired, it's like, it's like I don't, I don't care about them as, as heels. I would, I think O'Neal and D. Young would be better served to be fan favorites. And after the match, Stryker conducts an interview, and really it was, it was an interview by Tyles O'Neill and Darren Young, but it, it was pretty good. I liked it, so. Then they showed a recap of more of the this AJ and Cena scandal, if you will. Um, I don't really care about this. I think eventually what this is going to end up doing is setting up a match between AJ and Vicky Guerrero, maybe at the Royal Rumble or something, but I, I, I think it's going to be funny to see if they how much they really steal from this TNA angle with AJ and Dixie Carter AJ Styles and Dixie Carter are they are they going to have some kind of a Claire Lynch character saying that John Cena knocked her up or something? Okay, as I said in the opening segment of the, my review, the one hour main event was 
Sheamus and William Regal against Wade Barron and Big Show. Raise your hands if you know why R William Regal was in this match. Was he in there one to screw Sheamus? Ah. Was he in there, was he in there two because he's going to get some kind of a push? Ah. Or, or three. Was Regal just there to do the job? And if you pick, if you picked option number three, ding, 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 you are correct, sir. Because Big Big Show ends up nailing Regal with the KO punch like he did in that pub on Monday night, and that's about the gist of this match. So. Baird and Show get the win. Then they showed the recap of the, of the Brad Maddox situation where he screwed over Ryback at, at Hell in a Cell. Um, I don't know who the hell dressed him. Was it his mom? I don't know. Um, he looked really awfully nervous out there. I mean, it's almost like they just... Threw him out to the wolves and say, "Hey, sing." Threw him out to the sharks or something. I was like, "Sink or swim, kid." And then they show McMahon and he offers them one mil one million dollars if if he can beat Ryback on Monday Night Raw next week. So, so I think that we're we're gonna find out a conclusion to this story. Whether Maddox really is aligned with CM Punk and Paul Heyman, so. Okay, then you had your main event. It was Falls Count Anywhere with Randy Orton and ADR. I did not watch this match. And I'm not going to watch this match because I, I... Without even watching it, I can... I could basically tell you what happened. Orton... Orton, I'm sure, hit the RKO out of nowhere. Probably in a, on the steps or something. Or some something like that. Maybe it's on a table, I don't know. But I'm sure he just hit an RKO out of nowhere. And obviously, obviously this match got a lot of time because cause it started about... I mean, there's about, still about 25 minutes left in the show, so it must have gotten plenty of time. So Anyway, Orton won. Whoop-de-doo. Uh, final thoughts on the show is like I, oh, I don't really know what to think of this show. It's you would have thought it would have been better than what it was, considering it was live. Maybe, 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 the, maybe the crowd was just sleeping through it. I don't know, because I, I almost was. But I mean, when you've had matches that I've seen many times before, like Miz against Kobe for the umpteenth time for the IC title, and Ray and Zinkar against PT Peers and Orton against ADR. It's like I I could have watched SmackDown last week. I probably could have got the same shit. And as as far as Linda McMahon and her failed Senate runs and over the last three years, it's like spent about ninety to a hundred million dollars trying to buy a Senate seat. Well, maybe he should have spent some of that money and bought Wade Barrett a pair of jeans. God, I'm 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 gonna keep, yes I am gonna keep harping on this because I think it's important. Wade Barrett should not be wearing regular wrestling trunks. He's a bare knuckle fighter. At least that's what he's supposed to be. That's supposed to be his gimmick, and and by wearing wrestling trunks, you you're making him a just another cookie cutter wrestler. That th this would be something that would stand him apart, for, like like from other characters. So, anyway, let me let me know what you thought about this Super SmackDown. And I am Marvelous Mark signing off for now. So long.